Will the Tampa Bay Bucks get inside the number, a sizable number at that, anywhere from eight and a half to nine at Kansas City on Monday night? Or will the Chiefs' dominating defense enable them to pull away and win this game handily and cover the spread? Well, I have those answers and much more. Uh, just stay tuned, folks, and I'll give you my analysis and pick on that game. And just a friendly reminder before I get to that, uh, 16, or excuse me, 18 and 6 since week two in the NFL, uh, since week three in the NFL with my free picks right here on Wager Talk TV. And folks, I just kindly ask you, give me a like, just a token of your appreciation. If you don't want to do that, that's up to you. But I do appreciate each and every one of you out there that uh, have supported me over the last six months. And for those of you who don't want to hit the like button, I appreciate you watching. And I'm about to give you another winner here in the NFL uh, in terms of my free pick videos right here on Wager Talk TV. And speaking of Wager Talk TV, it's free to subscribe to our channel, folks. There's no hidden agenda. There's no strings attached. It's just 100% absolutely free. And you'll be privy to some of the best sports betting experts and all the world right here on Wager Talk TV. And uh, while you're at it, click on your alert notification bell in your YouTube settings for Wager Talk TV and provide yourself a nice convenience by doing so, as you'll be alerted to any of our great content going up on our great channel uh, for the future. All right, uh, let's get right to the meat and potatoes, as I like to call it. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs right now. Uh, either eight and a half or nine, depending on where you're looking, uh, at, at what sports book you're looking at to be specific. And uh, the total in this game, 45 and a half. This is a Tampa Bay team that's lost their last two uh, to fall the four and four on the season. And this is a, a spot, in my estimation, where the loss of uh, starting wide receivers Mike Evans and Chris Godwin, two of the best in the game uh, right now, uh, are out with injuries, uh, Godwin being out for the season, uh, Evans still a sideline with a hamstring injury, and this will catch up to the Bucks in this one against a stout Kansas City defense. Now the Bucks have run the ball really well over their last three games to overcompensate for those losses. Uh, they've averaged 168 yards rushing per game over their last three, and during that time average just under six yards per rushing attempt, which is absolutely phenomenal. However, they're going to be facing a Kansas City defense that over their last three games has only allowed 60 yards rushing per contest and only three yards per attempt. And again, if you start to become one-dimensional against a stout defense like Kansas City, uh, you're going to be in trouble. And this is also a Tampa Bay offense that's beat themselves in a lot of ways over the last three games, specifically so by committing eight turnovers. And the Tampa Bay defense, by the way, folks, uh, they've been brutal over the last four games, allowing 33.8 yards per game and, and um, 33.8 points per game and 439 yards per game. And that uh, doesn't bode well when you're going to be going up against a Kansas City offense uh, led by quarterback Patrick Mahomes and uh, new acquisition at wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins. That'll be intriguing to see how he fits in to this Kansas City offense. Uh, the Kansas City defense uh, just been outstanding, um, and they don't get talked about enough. As a matter of fact, the Chiefs defense has allowed 17.6 points and 295 yards a game this year. And in their last three, they've only allowed the opposition to rack up 252.7 yards of offense per game. And they allowed during that time just 4.9 yards per offensive play. The Chiefs are 8-0 straight up and 7-0 and 1 against the spread since last year uh, versus teams like Tampa Bay that average 130 plus yards rushing per contest. So this sets up, in my opinion, sets up well for Kansas City. If this game was to be played three weeks ago when Tampa Bay was 4-2 and two, and both Godwin and Evans were in the lineup, 
I would really, really like Tampa. But, you know, we wouldn't be getting this number either. I mean, there's a reflection here of those two guys being out where the line is now. I think even at six and a half and seven with those two uh, players in the lineup, I would have really entertained using Tampa Bay, but not right now with the Tampa Bay defense being so bad and them being totally reliant on the run game right now. Just too many mistakes lately for Tampa Bay. I like Kansas City here. Lay the eight and a half over Tampa Bay. Just a friendly reminder, folks, my NFL season pass, you can get $50 off right now by simply using the promo code FBALL50 at checkout. Uh, right now, you'll see it priced at $429 for the rest of the regular season, playoffs, and right through the Super Bowl. And uh, by using FBALL50 at checkout for your promo code, uh, it'll take that price down to three seventy nine. dollars So take advantage of that offer. Until the next time, I'm Ross Benjamin. And you're not, and uh, I appreciate you guys very much. So take care, and God bless.